Hey guys, it's Abigail Burley. I get the opportunity today to talk to you about how Love Your Story rallies around families impacted by disabilities. You are gonna get to meet three of my very favorite friends, Hillary, Allie, and Megan, all being impacted and served in different ways. I hope you enjoy as they share. Through our process, I heard the phrase all the time, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. But what happens when you feel like your life has handed you so many lemons that the amount of lemonade you have is overwhelming? What do you do with all that lemonade? You share it. That's what we're doing here at Love Your Story through our mission. We are sharing what our family and thousands of other families have taught me through this journey. We are learning to share in the joy and the grief and building the community to not only change the community, but to invite you into this community. These families are staying in a home up to 21 days free of cost. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that's enough. We live in an amazing community and something that I got to experience staying with other moms and what I know that I needed and what I wanted to launch when creating Love Your Story was a true community for these families traveling here. So while we were here, we definitely were included into the community through Abby and we met for coffee um, and just communicated about like our daily struggles of what it was like to do something like this or be involved in this. The first day we got here, um, we actually went to the park and I met a family and they asked us like, oh, are you visiting? And I explained that we were staying here and she knew exactly the house we were staying in. She knew her, her child went to Tender Ones. It was like we instantly sort of bonded. We take moms out for coffees. We invite families over into our homes, bring them to church, to trunk or treat, Sunday services, Wednesday night family meals, Super Bowl parties, take them to the pool, you name it. We are meeting with these families and not only providing community, but also resources. Resources. The church reached out to us to see if there was anything that they could do. And we have been to um, a trunk or treat, which in the South is a thing. They knew we were coming and they welcomed us. And I didn't feel, I didn't feel that they were gonna ask me, where's his costume? No, they were just like, hi, welcome. Like, that's the community that you're gonna get when you come here. What started as a need has quickly turned into serving 28 families in a year and a half and over a six month wait list for Molly's house. When dreaming and envisioning what Love Your Story could be, I kept coming back to how as a mom, I had to learn that loving my kids impacted by disability has been easy. But honestly, learning to love our story has been a process. That's what we're offering these families. We're offering these families a chance to walk alongside them in the process of what does it look like to love your story when your child is impacted by a disability. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, but I want to walk this road with you. Just going back to being here together and having each other when you're doing it alone, the, you are on like 24 seven. And then like add if your child has any like nighttime issues, it is just nonstop. And when you're doing it together, the kids can play. Yeah, you that's huge. You have each other to be like, hey, I'm running to the store. Can you do this? Or they rest or they go to bed. And then you can actually like talk and have mm -hmm. community with another parent that knows a lot of what your daily life looks like. And that um, has been Life-changing for me, to be honest. I love that you just got to meet my friends, Hillary and Allie and Megan, and they are just few of the women who represent our Love Your Story families. You guys, we are on a mission to change families who are impacted by disabilities. That is going to happen through our capital campaign, that GFUMC, that you are choosing to partner in with that $45,000 out of our $100,000 goal. It will specifically go to a six bedroom, four bath home. Why? Because we want to be able to host more than one family at a time and build that community and make a lasting impact. Would you join us?